Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So on the channel, we've been talking about the fact that Google is going to be deprecating Manifest V2 extensions by the end of this year. And already, as we have been talking about one of the popular extensions, uBlock Origin, is on that list to be deprecated, which has caused quite a lot of debate. And we can see already, as we have been chatting about, that Google is in the process of starting to deprecate and move in that direction. V2 extensions, including uBlock Origin. Now, just to let you know that uBlock Origin is not going to be blocked in other Chromium-based web browsers like Brave, Vivaldi, Edge, Opera, and so on. It's Chrome and Google that are forcing this change. So as an example, if I head over to the Chrome Web Store in Google Chrome, and I do a search for uBlock, uBlock Origin, which I've already installed, you get this message. This extension may soon no longer be supported because it doesn't follow best practices for Chrome extensions. We've spoken about this quite in depth on the channel. Now, if I head over to Brave and I do the same search in the, in the store, you can still add to Brave and there's no message. And this applies to um, Vivaldi, Edge, Opera, and so on as well. So you also get the option, as mentioned, to add it to the browser. So uBlock Origin will still work in those other browsers. It's just going to be affecting Chrome. And just on a side note, talking about um, Brave, for me personally, I don't feel you need uBlock Origin in Brave because the Brave Shields, the built-in ad blocker, is one of the best built-in ad blockers I've come across in any browser. So I don't see why you would need uBlock Origin if you are using Brave, uh, Brave Shields. But nonetheless, um, just keeping you guys informed. And uh, the reason Google is preventing this in Chrome is likely because it's checking for the user agent of the browser. And it's doing this to prevent the installation of the extension. And we've spoken about that previously on the channel as well. Now, if you are a Chrome user, you have a couple of options um, to deal with this. As I've posted previously, and I'll leave two videos I've posted which are very similar on the same topic. Um, you can enable a policy to extend the support for uBlock Origin and other classic extensions until next year, mid-2025. I've posted um, two videos, very similar. I'll leave those linked down below and in the end screen. And if you don't want to carry on using Chrome, as mentioned, you can switch to another Chromium-based web browser like Brave, Vivaldi, Opera, or Edge, which will still support V2 and uBlock Origin. And obviously, another, um, another option, if you don't want to stay on Chromium, is you can use Firefox. And I've posted a video regarding Firefox um, that uBlock Origin will still work in Firefox. So you have the option to move over to the non-Chromium-based web browser, Firefox, which I must be honest, um, I'm, starting to, I'm starting to like Firefox a lot more of late because they have been paying quite a lot of attention back on the browser as I've been posting on the channel. So Firefox is also a good option. So just uh, letting you guys know, um, because there are reports doing the rounds, obviously we're getting closer now to the end of the year, and those V2 extensions like uBlock Origin are soon going to be deprecated and unsupported and kind of just blocked in Google Chrome. Um, obviously, like what I hate it, that's where Google is going. So you have a couple of options. And as mentioned, um, uBlock Origin will still work in those other Chromium-based web browsers. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.